Hi, this is Lara from Elliott Wave Forex with your free US dollar index Elliott Wave analysis for the trading session ended Thursday 15th of July in New York. Starting out with an historical look back three years and I've changed the wave count slightly, I'll get into that in a moment. We had a five waves down for a primary degree wave C which ended a cycle degree wave B. So we're in a new cycle degree Sorry, we're in a cycle degree wave C to the upside, which will be a five wave impulse at primary degree, of which we've already had one primary, two primary, and we're working on a third wave at primary degree to the upside. So far now, it looks like we have a five waves up to end intermediate one, and we're working on a deep correction, a simple zigzag to the downside for intermediate wave two. Targets for the long term for the dollar for the end of primary wave 3 lie initially at 91.91, that's where it will reach equality with this primary wave 1, but it's much more likely to be longer than 1. So our most likely upside target is 102.87 for the end of this 5 wave impulse, of which we've only had 1 and almost 2, and we're about to work on 3 to the upside. Taking you now to a chart just for the last year, where we're going to look in a little bit more detail at this piece of movement from this maroon 2 down here, which is, if I had put it here, would be right here. Here's our more recent dollar rises. And I did have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to end intermediate 1 here, and I had this piece of movement here labelled as intermediate wave 2, which was quite problematic because it's really, really is too brief for a wave of intermediate degree and was really bugging me. So I had another look at it, and I think this may be a better fit, although it doesn't fit in a trend channel as well as my previous labelling. You can't fit this upwards piece of movement nicely at all into a trend channel using Elliott's technique, so the channel I've drawn here is just a best fit. I've drawn it first with a trend line from the high labelled 1 blue, along these two highs here within 3 blue, and then I've created a parallel copy and placed it on the low here labelled 2 blue. Pretty much contains this upside movement, a decent throw over in the fourth wave position which indicated a strong throw over on the opposite side of the parallel channel in the fifth wave position. Thereafter, no matter how we want to draw a channel around this piece of upside movement, we very obviously have a clear breach to the downside. Therefore, wave 1, or however we want to label it, this upside movement is over and we're in a downside trend, obviously, which is nearly at the end. This fifth wave at blue or minor degree, as I have labelled it here, has an extension within it. After extensions, corrections often, often find support at the second wave within the extension, so that's why I have this target, 81.17, for downwards movement to finally end this wave C blue, a little bit further down to go. Because this is, according to this wave count, a second wave at intermediate degree, technically it can reach right down to the start of wave 1, therefore the invalidation point must lie down here at 74.18. Taking you now to uh, hourly chart for the last 30 days, where this black one up here is this black one up here, and here's our recent dollar downwards movement, with a nice five waves down with an extension within it for wave A blue, a triangle here, contracting triangle for wave B blue. Thereafter, a one, two, and working on wave three down at pink degree for wave C blue, down towards those targets on the daily chart. Ratios between, between A and C so far, A is 3.57, C has already surpassed equality with A, it will reach 1.618 the length of A when the dollar gets down to 80.46. So I have a target zone, 81.17 to 80.46. Ratios within pink waves within wave A blue between 1, 3 and 5 pink. Wave 1 pink is 0 0.06 more than wave 5, longer than wave 5. And wave 3 pink down here is 0 0.37 short of 6.854 the length of wave 5, which is a Fibonacci ratio derived from dividing any Fibonacci number by its fourth predecessor. That's the, that's the ratio that those two would converge upon if you move through the Fibonacci sequence. But that's a little bit 0 0.37 
is a little bit too much really for comfort. So I'll rather say that they don't really have an adequate Fibonacci relationship between one and three there. <clears throat> Within wave three green here, ratios between these orange waves, oh, actually we'll look at the, th the green waves first, between one, three and five green here, Wave 1 green is 0 0.05 short of 0 0.618, the length of this wave 5, and I can find, oh, and wave 5 green here is 0 0.17 more than 0 0.618, the length of this wave 3 green, so reasonably adequate Fibonacci relationships between these green waves within this extended third wave here. Within the extension, within the extension, within these orange waves, Wave 3 green here is 0 0.05 short of 1.618, the length of wave 5 orange. And wave 5 orange is 0 0.13 short of wave 1, trying for equality and failing to reach it by 0 0.13. Fairly adequate Fibonacci relationships within this little piece of movement here. A nice contracting triangle for wave B blue. Thereafter, within wave C blue, Wave 3 pink, which began here at 84.54, will reach equality with wave 1 pink, which was 2.61 long, when the dollar gets down to 81.93. So we may see a fourth wave correction around about 81.93, which may see a bounce somewhere around there. Within this wave 1 pink here, ratios between green 1, 3 and 5. Wave 3 green is 0.1 short of 0.618, the length of wave 1. And wave 5 green is 0 0.13 short of 0 0.618, the length of wave 1. Really not that very good. 0.1 is a little bit too much to say that it's a reasonable Fibonacci relationship. They really, that's not really very good relationships here for the dollar. So we're expecting this is a third wave at the moment continuing down. We've already had a 1, 2, and within 3, 1, 2, 3, working on 4 today. Another push to the downside to end wave 3 green. And then we'll have another little bounce and a little bit further down. Towards around about 81.93 where we expect a bounce of a decent size, something like this, that should last all of a day or so. Thereafter, further downwards movement for the dollar to that target of 81.17 to 80.46. And just taking you back to the daily, that's another few days likely, probably going to have an overshoot of this lower black trend line, this parallel channel here is Elliott's technique I've drawn around wave 2 black from the start of A to the end of B and a parallel copy placed in the end of A is pretty much contained this downside movement so far, a little throw over overshoot here probably going to have a throw over on the lower end as it gets down to this target zone down there and that's going to give it a pretty good look in terms of time, a few more days for the second wave to finish will give it a fairly decent look in terms of the time it's taken compared to the whole time that this whole rise from 74.18 took so I'm much happier with that wave count at the daily chart level. It's a resolved that nagging problem I've had of an intermediate wave being very, very brief. I think only 12 or 13 days, which really didn't have the right look. Much happier with this look and quite exciting to, in, to anticipate a third wave at intermediate degree and within that, a third wave at minor degree within an intermediate third wave. We've got some really strong dollar rises coming up in the next couple of months. That's all for me with your free dollar analysis. I hope this is useful in your trading. If you would like to have Elliott Wave analysis of this depth, you will find it on my site. You'll find the euro and the pound. Just find the big fat green subscribe button. I hope everyone out there is having a fabulous day.